Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to Chapter 12 of Land of the Night and the Heroes of Seven Worlds. Make sure you're comfortable because I think this is going to be a long video. So here we are, inside the Demon Castle. We knew that the inside would be collapsed, but aren't the floor and walls somewhat weird? There's spatial corrosion occurring in here. I'm sure it's the effect, an effect of the gate. The land of the night is corroding even the demon castle itself, huh? This happened when we set foot in the demon castle that was encountering this weird spatial anomaly. Before us, this strange existence comes, uh, comes forward. Particular um, severed world reaction Detected. The spatial self-destruct process is beginning from beginning to execute. Begin execution of. Just what is this? This creepy thing. No way, an apoptosis? Why are Apatosis appearing here? Anyway, let's defeat her. No problem with that. Hmm. Well, I would reorganize my party, but I think we'll do fine. Maybe that first one dodged. So, what is going on here? Why is, is there enough Apatosis here? Well, this castle itself, if we consider it to be a large-scale space-time interference event, then it wouldn't be unusual to think that the system for handling that would activate. Anyway, within the Demon Castle here, we're going to be dealing with Apoptosis as well. Hope they don't interfere with our progress, yeah, though. But they are truly creepy monsters, aren't they? Do those kind of types of things just hang about in this world? I wouldn't say they hang about, no. Although we see them quite frequently. Well, that's because of our situation. But we can't let ourselves to be scared by this. Come, let's head door further in. The place we're headed for is the magic gathering room where the sleeping rabbit will be. There we will wake the rabbit and then we'll destroy the gate and we win. I suppose this is in case you took the time to wander off and conduct other things. No, nope, this happened directly after the assault on the exterior so I don't know why they need to rehash it. Anyway, but don't think there should be any way that the enemies will just shut up and watch. The Nightmares and the Alliance and the Apoptosis will all be getting in our way. Now finally there's the unavoidable 
final battle with the Lord of Dreams. The wall we have to overcome here is big, but it, if we don't win, we have no future. The interior is also in a, in a <laughs> horrible state. It seems like a Tartaros. And inside there's a gate. Luca, are you listening? Uh, yeah, of course I am. No, it looks like you're staring at that treasure box over there. All right, go ahead and open it. Sorry, it's just, it was bothering me. Dragonstone. We got a Dragonstone. This... This came from our world. What's it doing here? In the Tartarus, there are other world items that appear. So in here as well, from the various worlds, we're going... Certain treasures got mixed in. Furthermore, this seems to be a rare jewel from Rawls's world. It could be from the connection with the gate that one time that it got sucked in here. <laughs> Oh, a treasure! I'm going to take them all! Sure you are. Your greed is on full display, isn't it? But, if they're goods that'll do us a service in battle, before we get to the final... We, before we arrive at the final battle, we should collect them. Yeah, let's take care to search the castle throughout. Then, let's go. I'm actually going to avoid those. This is going to be a long ride, after all. I'd skip this. Here about in the castle, if you see these, this particular type of bridge, it usually means it's a shortcut for later. We have to traverse the entire level, get around to this girl's backside, and then we'll have a shortcut. Oops, wrong way. I just did a trial run, and it's so long I can't remember half the half of this labyrinth. It might be even worse than Muska's first level back then. Chapter 2. Oh, thank God for encounter prevention. This would be taking forever. But here's a fox growth telling us this place, I've heard, has 10 levels. It's going to be pretty long, so take care for your recovery and yeah about in every one there's going to be a recovery crystal uh oh I don't remember this part I think it's this way nope I was wrong well I'm here might as well Iroko Iroko's hair ornament. Oh, does this is this Iroko's? Me. Yes, give it to me. Look, look. Does it suit me? Do I look cute like Iroko? Calm down a little. So, maybe I didn't explain well, or really at all. But each of the items you find throughout here are going to be exclusive to only one character. That one is for Yumeko 
and the first one was for Rouse. Each character gets, oh, maybe as many as five. Oh, these guys. You've come now, heroes. But since I'm here, you will go no further. Lyra and I, and furthermore Musette, with our powers combined, you guys are no match for us. So that being the case, all of you will be finished off here. Musette, just what are you thinking? You aren't the type to go obeying somebody else. Well, <laughs> I've exchanged a promise with the Lord of Dreams. In exchange for her working as her underling, I get Grand Nova. In order to reign over Grand Nova, you say? That's your objective? Ho, ho, ho. Do you think that I would be satisfied with that scale? What I want is this world. Here, I'm going to brainwash all of you to be my loyal pawns. And with that battle power, the Alliance, as well as the Lord of Dreams, will fall before me. And then this world will be in my hands. I see. So your motivation is the impulse. Power lust. That's a good way to describe it. Honestly, you're easier to understand than the nightmares, though. Still, we can't overlook this. Underneath your rule, millions upon millions of people would be suffering needlessly. Endlessly, really. Time to settle this, Musette. I'm going to cut your, cut your ambition down with this sword of mine. Come on then, Omni Swordsman and you heroes. In any case, soon you'll all be my puppets. I'm sure. Oh. I saw her kill many once. I finished her off with something dumb because she was resistant to that. But I won, which is good enough. No way. There's no way that that I could be. It's our victory. It's time to surrender, Musette. Lady Musette, what should we do? What do we do? This is a big pinch. You know what bugs me about these two? Lyra's wing is maybe an inch or two lower than Belle's wing. Belle's wing comes about to the top of her head, but Lyra's doesn't. It's a little lower. That bugs you too, don't it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it does. I have not lost yet. Belle, Lyra, we're retreating. Yeah, run away with your shell between your legs. Ha. Huh? <laughs> Next time, we're going to get you good. Did she say we're going to bite your face off? Now, I'm afraid I didn't parse that one right, I think. Wait, wait. <laughs> well, 
they ran away. What do we do? Shall we chase them? It's unfortunate, but we don't have the spare time to be chasing. We need to prioritize shutting that gate. And as Alice says, we have to concentrate on the big source of the problem. After that, we can... It'll be fine to handle Musette. But with this, we've defeated three of the uh, allies. This is pretty good. Yeah, but there's still a lot of troublesome ones up ahead. As we go forward, we can't let our guard down. Again, going forward, the members of the Alliance are going to be attacking us. Even though we defeated Musette, we can't let our let it go to our head. All right, let's continue onward. Don't get slack. We've got a long way to go. Said to be in the deepest of the dungeon, the magic gathering room we're headed for. We continue to step forward. Blowing up fox as we go. I'm kind of rushing through this, but these places are recognized. Oh, another shortcut. But I can't use it yet. These places are recognized by you, as part of the original Demon Castle, if you've been through it a few times. going the right way. Boy, it's so long. Fox statue. No, oh, look at that. Look who's dead. Look at... Uh, stay dead. There's some memos spread about on the ground. This is... Well, it seems... It's addressed to Kazia. What? Me? Why would there be memos addressed to me here? A message from Professor Yui. Yahoo! Are you doing well, Kalthia? I worked into Mukuro's plans, a safety device, but were it activated um, since I since it's been since I confirmed that it was activated. I sent the I'm sending this to you. Honestly, the coordinates that are showing I sent it along to, but I, it's I'm trying to send it appropriately, but where it's going to be going, I honestly can't say. Well, as long as it's not in the immediate vicinity of the last boss, then you'll find it right away, I'm sure. And I put some other things, some other useful things in with it. So, make good use of it. Yes. Sorry. Professor Yue. Anyway. 
I'm definitely not forgiving you about the plans. But still, if these useful things come through. Regarding these useful things, the objects in question, we can't see anywhere around here. On the ground there were just memos. The things that should have been sent along with it, we can't find in our eyesight, certainly. Apparently, during the transmission of it, they got scattered. Well, they're somewhere around this castle. Yeah, so. They are probably somewhere around this castle. Let's look for them carefully. It's After all, it seems like they're going to come in handy. Sorry that you have to go through the trouble. Our professor, well, causes trouble. Jeez, troublesome type, huh? You say it like you're, like it's somebody else. You yourself are completely the same type, aren't you? Aren't you completely the same type? Well, I don't know who you, Professor Yui is, but if she's like Promistine, well, yeah, easy to understand. Anyway, Mukuro should have some exclusive equipment and some useful things are around the interior somewhere, it seems. We're going to carefully search the castle interior and collect them for the sake of helping our battle plans. A few videos back we were in this part of the demon castle and I accidentally found a secret passage here. Possibly this portion of the demon castle gives some hints to secret passages in the back portions in the previous chapters portions of the demon chapter of the demon castle possibly that's a theory maybe that's the only one but maybe it's not in any case it's a little late to go back and re-record everything with a few more secrets added So easy to get lost. Aha. Bye bye. This level is particularly short if the shortcut is opened already. Oh crap, I took a wrong turn. Um, falling Dragon Fang? Maybe. This club, it's just like the horn of a great dragon. I wonder how much power is hidden in it. Just looking at it, the power is conveyed. Other than Master, I don't think there's anybody who could wield this. Hey, are you talking about clubs? Sonia, you really have a, an eye for clubs. Well, it's not exactly an eye for clubs, she, he was saying. It's like, clubs are your conversational weakness. place is endless, is it not?
Whoops. Shortcut. We might need it later. Oh yes, this floor. I recognize the shortcut. Whoops. I almost always take a wrong turn there, but I, I did there. I'm just going to keep bragging and then I'm going to throw myself around. Huh? Is it this way? Yep, I think I'm going the right way. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's here. The seven hero, the seven heroes and their companions. And finally, it's time. The time for the final battle has arrived. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. This time, play with me till the end. So, standing before us, the otherworldly Demon Sword Sisters. We fought each of them once, but they're going to be pretty powerful altogether. Jeez. It's you guys again. The Oni Woman and the Red Haired Hero. Both of you together. This is interesting. And this shrimp again. You're a shrimp. You're a shrimp too, aren't you? Yeah, both of them. Both of you are shrimps, aren't you? All right. You're going to be finished here for our for the sake of our objective there we go damn guess we got to do this taking positions to battle but we take we go to take positions to battle but the next instant <laughs> Well, if three, if three succubus sisters are your opponent, we can't just shut up and let that slide. So, how about you guys play with me? Play with us, sorry. Naturally, they're here too. So then, who's the middle girl? The trouble the troubles of the one stuck in the middle. Let's sim let's share some stories. Or rather see how we understand each other. Extreme fighting extreme fighter type succubi who house powers of demon swords. I see. You are a threat. According to what I've heard, you're a an outstanding threat. The little sisters. Why are you guys? I called my sisters in order to come to the rescue. After all, if this world falls into the land of the night, it's going to be problematic for us. So, that being the case, leave this location to us. You guys should hurry on up ahead. Don't you screw around here, just showing up all of a sudden. Oh! Are you the middle girl? That's no good. The one in the middle needs to be more reliable. 
needs to be more moderate, maybe we should say. Interesting. I think I'll start the blood with that with you, why don't I? Yep. <laughs> I think I want to start the bloodbath with you. So then... The one I'm going to execute is... You? Isn't this interesting? Why don't you show me how you're going to be doing this executing? Ah, <sighs> jeez. Both of us have troublesome sisters. They're quite a handful, making a handful of themselves. Yes, they are. Why don't I take care of your two? Actually, she might have been saying, why don't the two of us take care of them? But the Lilith sisters and the Demon Sword sisters launch into a ferocious battle. And then we... Let's leave this place to the Lilith sisters. We're going to hurry ahead. All right, let's go. The Little Sisters are, for their individual reasons, doing this, but... If they're going to take on the Mistletine group for us, that's good. We're going to leave this to them and hurry on forward. So obviously the first thing to do is try and run back. We should leave this to the little sisters and hurry on ahead. And just because I wanted to be weird the first time I came here, I used an escape. Which means I have to traverse like five more levels again. But now we have shortcuts. Here it is, shortcut. Not bad, huh? It's not easy to see from the start on this particular run. But over here we'll find one. No, oh, this one didn't have the bridge that I talked about. Oh boy, I've already talked about how hard it was to navigate this place, and here I gotta do it again. Fortunately, some of these are really short once you've unlocked them. Uh oh. Here we are. Well, oh, well, I didn't destroy the fox statue. So now we get to waltz through the Mistletane sisters. I I told you I would make a usually make a mistake in the turning there. And I did that time. You may wonder to yourself, why did I do this? This isn't give, giving progress to me at all. So what I'm doing is actually showing something you need to not do. Because coming from the battle on from this direction as well, you can't go in. So I've completely blocked myself from actually getting to the next stage. And the game's now unwinnable. So let's just quit. In my trial run, I went and saved right here where you should not use a exit item without getting rid of this fox statue. So remember to do that, please. Blah, blah, blah. Get out of my way, jeez.
Um, this is a part that I haven't been through too many times. Back in the Demon Castle, you could look at this and it didn't say it was it was readable, but now it won't even react. Mm, yeah, that didn't need to go up there. I probably should have done a couple more trial runs till I was used to the layout. Because it is confusing. Oops. Come on. I need to hit that fox. Okay. Continue on. Yes, definitely should have done a second trial run of this area. It's just so... Circum... Uh... Circum... Oh, balls. Circumlocutuous? No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, now it starts getting really crazy. Nothing I fear about this fox girl. Oh. Look, it's Fulbira. Well, screw her. Screw you! Okay. As expected, she is not going to let us just pass her by. So let's talk to her. From behind. Just cause I'm obnoxious. Heh <laughs> You're coming to see me. I thought you would. Fulbiora Sheena Restani, huh? You made me remember your full name. The way ahead is behind the throne. But... It looks like she's not going to let us pass. Full viewer. How about you get out of the way for us? In this world, a new reigning embodiment of beauty. That is what I shall embodiment embody that's what I need to embody if you want to pass here then demand me my shining beauty come to know it with your body Yeah, I guess we're going to have to acknowledge her beauty or whatever. As expected, Fulbiora isn't going to... Shows no, shows no sign of yielding the way to us. We're going to... There's no way to continue but to beat her first. She's a nightmare, isn't she? You should know, but she. But Alice is going to tell us anyway. Attacks other than only pleasure attacks will work. I'm going to stick to support. That seems best. Hey, <laughs> please me and entertain me. Use your bodies and offer up pleasure. And standing at the apex of it all, the embodiment of beauty, I full of you are Sheena Restani. 
You must demand my heart. You must demand me from your heart. She is so full of herself. This might take her down. Uh, Peg. <laughs> oh, that was the most pleasant experience. With that sweet pleasure, my beauty is further heightened. Even having lost, she's her tension is high. No. From the very beginning, she isn't thinking that she lost. Yes, she is reframing her loss as a win because she got what she wanted or something. With this, will you let us pie? Will you let us pass? Well, I have no intention of moving, but... I will allow you to pass beside me. You may do it as you do it. Be sure to burn into your eyes, my beauty. You've already had enough. You've had... You have already... D done enough burning. It's already been burned into... A, burned in enough. There we go. If you've come this far, the deepest part is close... The Lord of Dreams, Est is also Est is also waiting. Est's ambition, we seven heroes are going to destroy, are going to, yeah, destroy Warwick. We won't allow her to rule this world. Ambition, rule. You guys don't understand the first thing about her. Well, I suppose that can't be helped. The one who can understand, who can truly understand Est is those like myself. Hmm. You're saying because you're a nightmare you can understand her. No, that's not what... I parsed that wrong. Hmm. Nightmares. I don't particularly want to understand them. It's true. Est, the Lord of Dreams, and her plan we don't understand. But whatever it is, there's only one thing for us to do. The seven of us have gathered to defeat the Lord of Dreams. And it was done by the will of history. After a bit of silence, what Fulbira said next was a bizarre statement. The will of history How did you come to think that such a thing called you guys? What Fulvira said just now. What do you think it meant? Uh, maybe it was just some thoughtless babblings. Well, it bothers me, but... We can't go overanalyzing this. We don't have the time. Now we need to continue onward. If we come this far, the deepest part and the magic gathering room should be close. Just a little further. Already the final battle with the Lord of Dreams is before our eyes. By the way, Luca, there's one bit of advice I'd like to give you.
Kazuya lowers his voice, brings it to my ear so that I can hear, so that only Luca can hear. She is lying. Don't believe what she says. Ominous. Man, Kazuya. Yeah, she's not going to tell us anymore. Alright, fine. Uh, Daten no Geta? These are a type of shoe, the Geta, traditional in Japan. These Geta fit my feet perfectly. Furthermore, somehow my leg power has increased, it seems. It seems like that. Yeah, I guess they're really getting short. Uh, this way. Shortcut open. The construction of the place has gotten on my... Screw you. Uh, the construction of this place has gotten pretty ominous, hasn't it? What bugs me is... Some of these tiles, these bridges, when we're standing in a square, we're right in square in the middle of a tile, and here they've half tiled it. You know, well, I'm, obviously they did it on purpose, but I wonder why. Maybe just to keep it fresh? No, I don't think this is the way. That was the way! Oh my god. Oh no. This would be a demon to speedrun. Aha! The mood of this floor is different, isn't it? Could it be that here is... That's right! Finally, you're right before your goal. Beyond that door is the magic gathering room. You've finally done well, and you've done well to finally get this far. In that room, there's the sleeping white rabbit. And if we wake her, what we do next is destroy the gate. Right? This, with this, the, this incident will be resolved. But the Lord of Dreams is going to come for us. Well might come for us. Before we open the door, we should prepare for the final battle. Once you've got your preparations already, let's go into the magic gathering room. And then we can save the world. And then you can save the world. You understand, right? Hmm. A little more explanation. What's wrong? Beyond the door is the magic gathering room. And that's all she's gonna say. Well. Beyond this, the magic gathering room. That's what the white rabbit is telling us. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to open it. We'll probably get another chance. But, I didn't open the door. 
We can't continue on this way. Hmm. Huh? Aren't you going to continue? On the other side of that door is your goal. What is it, Luca? Is there something that's bothering you? Should we be doing this, Kazuya? Yeah. If you're under there, it's over. Kazuya cocks his head and looks at the white rabbit. White rabbit. That time when you and I first met, you said this, didn't you? And it looks like Kazuya's got... Kazuya has become able to use magic again. Why did you know? How did you know that before I wasn't able to use magic? No. I was able to use magic before. Um, that is, uh, you didn't know anything about the other heroes. With regard to the humans of the other worlds, you didn't even know their names. But nonetheless, why did you know about me? It had been bothering me how most of the worlds had allies that came from them, but there were no allies of the Lord of the Night, Lord of Dreams. They came from Kalsia's world or from Byakunin's world. Hmm. What are you trying to say? What if you came from my world? That's the reason. How about we stop this act? To you, this may be the... I don't know how it is for you, but this isn't the first time that I have seen this trap. Did you think that I would be falling in the same way a second time? That's cool. Jeez, you've seen through my disguise. To think that one slip of the mouth would bring my plans to for, to ruin. <laughs> well, it's fine. I will recognize you. In this game of trickery, I've lost. Wh what? You are an imposter of the White Rabbit? My transformation magic is my particular specialty. Ho ho ho. Wasn't it a... Wasn't it impressive? Datsuko's transformations are a complete replacement. Not only the, their outer appearance, but she imitates their memories completely.
for that reason, what she says and what she does won't raise any contradictions. Even close, even close relations won't be able to see through it. So then, the white rabbit that we've been seeing up to now was... It was all my transformation. You guys have been guided by me. The magic gathering room was nothing but a ruse, was nothing more than a ruse of mine. The white rabbit, the white rabbit's body, belongs to the Lord of Dreams. She's, she's always been in the hands of the Lord of Dreams. No way. You've been fooling us this entire time. It would have been nice if we had fool if I had fooled you all the way to the end. If you'd continued through this door, you'd found you'd have found your end in a pleasurable way. As expected that door was a trap. Inside of there, Datsuko's familiars are, full to, are filling up the place. If you enter once, you definitely won't be able to pull out. I too, in my world, if not for the assistance of a good friend of mine, I would have fallen into that trap. <laughs> so that's how it was. The one who explained this trap to you was none other than myself. Kasia, I'll tell you this. In our world, you became my food. Okay. I thought it would be fun to change you into a hero. Unfortunately, since I didn't know about this peaceful world, In other words, your magic back then is also mine. You, who have now, the you who I see now, who is just a human, I wonder if you can win. It's true that I'm now nothing more than a human. There's a bit still attached to my soul, but that's all. But now I have companions. No matter how fearsome an opponent, I'm going to stand up and fight. Stand up against you. This ally is incredibly powerful. Everybody, don't let your guards down. Other world heroes, you are all my food. Ho 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 ho. Oh, aren't you going to be desperate now? So, let's ta let's begin. My first meal time in a good long while. Mm. A 
I don't think she's vulnerable to that, so... Let's stick with this. Wait, when did Luca... Ouch. Maybe I shouldn't have stuck with that. But when did Luca get... a recovery? I'm pretty sure I didn't hit any crystals along the way. Mofu Mofu Shippo! We got a fluffy tail from her. A fluffy tail. <clears throat> this is a hero's the hero's power. So it can defeat even me. I told you, Datsuko. The situation now is different from than when it was then. We absolutely won't give up, and absolutely won't lose. If you're going to stand in our way, we're just going to show you our power. <laughs> As always, flapping your mouth with your impudent speech. Well, this hasn't been bad. I've had my string of fun here, and I've enjoyed it enough. Jeez, setting this underhanded trap for us. You were... <clears throat> Excuse me. So you were fooling us this entire time. Well, the fooling was only in regard to the magic gathering room. Everything besides that, without a single lie, I guided you properly. And this final trap that I laid, whether you would, whether you would avoid it or not, that was the game that I had laid for you. Is that true? Datsuko is a villain, but she's not dastardly. Even if she does set a trap, up until the point that she's... Up until that very point, she'll play her hand straight. And we were able to win against that trap. The fact that she has no intention of fighting any further is proof of that more than anything. So with this we've defeated Datsuko's clever trick. And with this, one more of the powerful allies has been defeated. But still, in Kazuya's world as well, there is a Datsuko. There was also a Datsuko. Hmm, does that mean there's one in Byakunin's world? Well, when it comes to nine-tailed foxes, it seems like there's one in every world. Furthermore, they're all... they come so ill-mannered. Oh, come on, everybody loves Tamamo. Ho ho ho! Even though... Even though you've got your hands full with just the me of your world, you're taking care about this me of another world. Hmm? So I guess she's equating herself with Tamomo. I don't know how many nine tails and me's there are, but I'll take that as a compliment.
So, I don't think you have the spare time to be chatting with me any further. On the other side of this magic circle, it's already the land of the night. And there is where the great gate exists. With the power of the collab proof, it's truth that you'll be able to, excuse me, to destroy the gate. If you can destroy the gate, then it's your victory. Well, now that it's gotten to this point, there's no reason for Datsuko to lie to us. The magic circle in front of us is how we proceed onward, and we get to the gate. Wait there, heroes. We won't let you continue any further. Well now. All three types of the nightmares. Uh, the mook nightmares. But only one type of illustration is being shown at the moment. The sprites are of all three types. Even the ones back at... What was it, Chapter 4? When Mistletane turns, turns some uh, village girls into nightmares. Anyway, enemy pursuit! There's, and there's so many of them. That's cool. Is this your work? I told you, didn't I? I don't have any intention of fighting further. This isn't connected to me. How about we jump into the magic circle and run on ahead? Are you a fool? There are also enemies ahead of us. If we leave these guys alone, then we'll be trapped between enemies ahead and behind. Well, we can't allow ourselves to be cut off from the back, but there's so many of these. Yeah, sorry about this, but I won't be lending a hand. Oh, I get it. You're playing White Rabbit again. Non-interference. Ha ha ha. Well, it'd be funny if anybody noticed that besides me. We weren't expecting you f anything from you to begin with. Well, it can't be helped. We better be prepared to handle these nightmares. Wait. Leave this place to me. And this is great. The me she uses is none other than Tamamo. That's great. But we still have a surprise waiting. It's impossible. You're... The wrong Tamamo. One of the six ancestors, Tamamo. I'm specially here. I've come here specially to assist you. The Dark Goddess's world. The Tamamo of the Dark Goddess's world. Just, why are you here? This instance's big occurrence. Having heard of it, I've come to lend you my power. If this world falls, we too will be troubled. You see. Leave this place to me and go forward before the land, before the Lord of Dreams. The time I can be here is short, but 
I can com I can accomplish keeping the keeping these followers from chasing you. To think that you would come to our assistance. Is it really okay to be leaving it to you? Do so. This too is the will of the Dark Goddess. And you do know my power, don't you? You fully know my power. All right, we'll leave this to you. Everybody, we're heading onward. Well, we don't know if we can actually trust this Tamamo, but there's nothing to do but leave this to her. Thank you, Tamamo. Come, let's go. And with that, we pass through the magic circle into the land of the night. Since we've gotten this far, our goal is right before us. And the Lord of Dreams, Estimal Rune, and our final battle with her. Finally, we're heading towards the final conclusion of the incident. All right, let's stop. There's no benefit to fighting further. Mistletane feels when the heroes, when the hero's presence disappears. That means they've stepped into the territory of the land of the night. That being the case, there's no meaning to further pursuit. The fighting up to now is nothing more than a waste of power. Surprisingly, you're quick to give up, aren't you? At the very least, you should defeat Eh, only us. You're not thinking that. Both your side and our side think of it as a bitter battle here. It's a bitter, ba bitter battle, bitter battle to both you and to both you and us. In this battle, this battle tra transcending space and time has already is right about at its end. The Lord of Dreams may win. On the other hand, the heroes may win. We simply don't know. Naturally, Lucas' group is. The heroes are going to win. Whichever side wins, it's got nothing to do with us. In fact, it might even be better if the heroes win. In order to get our hands on that, The heroes should uh, should play a beneficial role. Well, the heroes should come in useful. Should uh, should be useful. Was what she was saying. 
So, that being the case, we're leaving. Neither side really got serious in this fight, but it was fun. The thing that you are searching for, I hope you find it. Yes. And you girls too. You need to accomplish your objective. So then. With that they go. Is it okay to let them leave, big sis? Well, we stopped them from following. So we fully completed that. There's no meaning to f continuing the fight beyond that. So, our role here is done. Come, let's return. I'm going to return to Luca Group's... to the Luca Group's location. The opponent is the Lord of Dreams. And a succubus's power will come in handy. The Mao Alice Fees and Luca. Somehow. Drafts vi Drafts Drasp victory. Ah, she's got a blessing as she leaves. It looks like most uh, of the space in here has been corroded. This is the land of the night. I wouldn't be able to stand it if the whole world ended up like this. The people floating in space. Just what up, what is happening there? It seems they're having intercourse with monsters, nightmares. Certainly those are the people that were dropped into the dream from the real world. So, just like that, in the dream world, they get raped by the nightmares. Forever, until they wake up. In this dream world, that's what human dreams look come to. In this dream, all humanity sinks into a dream of pleasure. It's truly a nightmare. Again, with the other word meaning nightmare. The gate's only a bit further. It's only a bit further to the end of the dream. Another cutscene? Another cutscene. Ah, I'm going to melt. Ah, it feels so good. Hmm, well, this is how it is. That only pleasure works on them. They're bothersome folk. <laughs> As expected of another of my kind. You've got quite this quite the set of skills. So, you are an otherworldly, are an otherworld nine tails. It's a strange connection, seeing your, meeting a face like this. I would like to chat, but there's no time. The time that I can spend in this world is limited, you see. Using ordinary methods, you can't come to this world at all, is it? To... To... 
break the rules and infiltrate another world, you're quite skillful, aren't you? Uh, different from you. I, that is what I am. So then, goodbye. And Tamamo disappears from this world. Jeez, what an unpleasant, nothing but unpleasant people about. Oh, I caught up with you somehow. I, I've come to, come to, come to be of assistance. You should be thankful. Well, after stopping the Demon Sword Sisters for us, I didn't think you'd go so far as to catch up with us. I thought you were nothing but a normal spy, but we do have to give you our thanks. If this world comes to... If the world comes to chaos like that, we're going to be troubled by it as well. So, this being the case, let's continue onward together. So Morgan's back in our party. This looks... this looks like it. Okay. I'm gonna have to quit to the title menu because I'm not prepared for this final battle. Not even with Manny. Okay. You'll see why in a moment. You might notice something about this group, but I'll explain more when we get there. This is the gate. The black vortex with the black vortex that we saw that time. All that's left to do is destroy it. The seven heroes power, go ahead and concentrate it. Before that, there's one more thing to destroy. Est, you're there, aren't you? Show yourself. <laughs> of course, I am here. In the side of the dream, always. She's finally appeared. You're the Lord of Dreams. Est Morun. I am Est. The pleasure dream that people see. Dreams, expectations, hope, ambition. Your thoughts have drawn me here. Nobody is hoping for... Nobody was hoping for your opinion, for your appearance. Hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> that is not the case. Because there are wishes here, I was drawn in. You, and further this world, wish for an unending dream. We won't be turned around by you any longer. We're going to defeat you here. Yes, we'll certainly win. 
defeat, win. Such things are not possible against me. You all will do what I wish. You will give me sweet pleasure and uh, it will exchange love that will make you melt. As Est is saying, normal attacks won't work on her. Well, she's saying it in a certain manner, of, in a really convoluted manner. That's the word I was looking for. I was trying to describe the maze and I came up with circumventuous. I meant convoluted. Uh, back to where we are. We can only attack with pleasure. No other way to win. But that itself, if that itself is what S wants, <laughs> it seems like you understand. There is no victory and no defeat. There is only pleasure. Everybody, don't lend your ears to what S is saying. You'll be drawn into the dream. That's right. Here, we just have to defeat her. With our pleasure attacks, we'll chase you back to the world you came from. All right, let's go. We won't let you do with this world as you like. Come, heroes. Fulfill my wishes. Let me taste sweet pleasure. A pleasure that will drive me crazy. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, I couldn't do this on Paradox Difficulty. It's back on very easy. And all of my characters are berserked again. And it still takes this long to beat her. This should work. Hopefully. Oh, I guess it doesn't. I'm gonna cut here. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. You should have seen about the end of that battle. I actually lost the second time. So, after the trial run, two wins and two losses against her with this party. Maybe I should have tested my trial group a bit more. Anyway, here we are. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, far from being weakened, Est is further and further. Her power is increasing. The pleasure given to me by the heroes that came from seven worlds, seven dreams. It's simply splendid. Hey, what's the meaning of this? Far from defeating her, the dream's power is more and more. Pleasure itself is my power. Being able, by fully enjoying pleasure, by fully tasting power, pleasure, I am truly in my element. Even more. <laughs> Get me drunk on it more and more. Love me and be loved. 
Yeah, such waves of, pow- of pleasure. This is unbearable. My conscience this is crumbling. It's no good. I can't stand it. It's nice. I've already come to climax a hundred times. Keep it to yourself, Tasa. Ah, this is no good. Ah, hey. Oh. My heart and my body. What is this? The feelings are melt are melting me. I can't move. <laughs> hey, everybody. The aura of pleasure that Est is releasing is throwing everybody's hearts into disorder. Not only what they're... Not only their senses, but even their consciousness is being lost here. <laughs> it's done. I can't go anymore either. So, our companions can't maintain their consciousness, and one after the other, they collapse. Already, the ones left standing are just a few. Here at the end, there's the desperate situation waiting for us. How are we supposed to deal with this kind of thing? How are we supposed to fight against this kind of thing? With the woman, with women's power like this, we too will be, we too will be dealt with so easily. But, but, we're handling it actually pretty well, aren't we? That, that's right. As he observed, so it is. The seven of us have been able to maintain our senses. Our other companions are already out of battle. But the seven heroes are not perturbed by it. Just what is the meaning of this? I should be particularly weak against uh, erotic, against erotica. <laughs> you fellows have protection. Take a look at those crests. Eh? Don't eh me, you idiot. My, and furthermore, All of the heroes' crests on the back of the hand. They're all releasing a shining light. This is thanks to the collab proof, isn't it? With this power, we can counter work counter to Est. Since we've got this, but you guys won't be able to touch me, except in the way that nightmares can be, wish to be. That's right, nightmares can't be affected except by pleasure. Any other attacks won't work at all. 
but we now from the collab proof I can feel the power this is with a warm in a warm wave it spreads throughout his body throughout Luca's body it's soft and kind and it's and he feels it taking root throughout his body <laughs> that is love it's lovely isn't it it's very lovely isn't it this love as Est calls it and its power that is we understand that that's filling up our bodies this love that fills our bodies it's of the same type as the aura of pleasure that Est releases With this power, we should be able to attack Est. Everybody, let's go! In my arms and in my sword. With this, I can attack Est! So the seven heroes now are looking at the final battle. Are your preparations for battle complete? Well, let's just see. I thought so. We've been completely restored. So yeah, we're ready. So, through the crests, we uh, have been girded with the power of love. We, the seven heroes. And now... It is a time to come to the final, for the final battle to be decided. This is the power of love. All right, with this, it's good to just to. It's, it's good to blast. It, with this, it'll be good to blast her away. This is kind of embarrassing, but everybody's love, let's bring it together. So everybody's, the seven people's power becomes one. With this, we won't lose to Est. Lord of Dreams, Est Morun. It's finally time to wake from the dream. <laughs> this has become a, This has become fun. More and more bring me higher. And because the system is kind of a dick. They changed the order of my characters, even though I had all the characters. An interesting fact, if you... She dispelled my berserk! Bleh. Um, maybe I should have given my guys some better skills. Uh, just do something expensive. Great. I was in the middle of saying something when the battle got me off guard. That's right. If you lose to that second battle, you can reincarnate as usual, but you're stuck with your seven heroes. Even if you retreat out of the demon castle back to reality, which the story kind of says you shouldn't be doing, 
you can't go back to the Mao Old Castle. Well, you can go back to the Mao Old Castle too, but you can't get any other characters back into your party. You're stuck with those seven, more or less, if you want to throw a few out. So you're kind of stuck just leveling up those seven until you can finally get through these two battles with them. In any case. Ah, how lovely. To be able to feel like this. The aura of pleasure which Est is giving off. It shoots off in a big way. It shoots off... Well, I guess it's, we can only say it shoots off bigly, largely, and as we watch it becomes smaller. At the same time, behind her, the, the gate that was spreaded there falters. And just like that, disappears. So finally, we've accomplished our final objective. The gate has disappeared. Was this what you wanted? Yeah. And you've accepted your loss, honestly, sincerely. Well, I haven't lost at all. A supreme pleasure. I was able to enjoy it fully, after all. She's not mad at losing. No, that's not right either. Est, from her heart, is fully satisfied with this. And on the backs of our hands, the collab proof that resided there, bit by bit fades away. Its task is done, and its effect is lost, begins to be lost. Est, the collab proof. Isn't it you who gave it to them? Gave them to us? That's right. That was a service from me. And thanks to that, I was able to taste pleasure from seven worlds. And in the end, we seven heroes were... The seven heroes were... Was it... Hmm. Okay, what he's trying to say is pretty easy to parse, but it's hard to say it in English. Let's see. Was the one who called the seven heroes from their various worlds also? So, maybe it wasn't just the alliance that Est called. the seven heroes and their companions as well, she herself... <laughs> Did you enjoy the banquet that I prepared, I wonder? Well, in my test run I said there's something missing because I was worried about the white rabbit, but... Even if you say that, they don't say anything about her, so I guess she's fine off wherever the hell she is. I'm gonna say I fully enjoyed it. But it's already the end of the time for seeing dreams. There is no end to dreams. When you're after 
your brief time in reality. You'll again be reborn in the dream. So, for the time that you have, enjoy reality. And I've enjoyed your dream fully. So then, I shall go. Let's meet again within a dream. <laughs>